Hey there, Citizen Paller here, and welcome back. It's time for another ship uh, overview. I started recording these with the free flight. I haven't really thought about it. They're not reviews. They're not even really previews. Uh, we're just taking a look at different ships. But uh, yeah, this time we are looking at... It's hard to see. I couldn't get the... It wouldn't spawn me in the sun. Yeah, yeah. anyway. This is the uh, Aegis Eclipse, as you can see right there. This is the uh, somewhat cool looking i guess stealth bomber i don't know uh, it's it's neat uh it's cool looking it definitely has that uh not sr so what a F f22 no no what was the oh what's the little stealth fighter uh i can't remember not the big one not the big b2 not the blackbird but the oh uh, the f22 is the raptor i can't remember what it's called it kind of has that look it definitely you have that flying wing shape and everything the black stealth silhouette uh i've been trying to find for the last few minutes well a minute i could have sworn there were supposed to be some exterior guns on this thing oh are they on the wingtips is that why i'm not seeing them are they up there uh maybe maybe can't really tell well, you know what we do we can open this up not that one come into this one uh, select ship, Aegis Eclipse, and then we can see it's weaponry, so ordnance right there. Looks like, yeah, they're on the, because it's lighting up. It's on the, the wingtip? No, where is it? Where the heck are they? Are they internal? Are they hidden up there in the nose? Normally they'd light up, you'd be able to see them. I don't see them. I don't see them. So we, it looks like we get three torpedoes and two Scorpion GTs. Okay. Scorpion GT215. So does that mean they're size one? Nope, no, they're size two, so they should hit reasonably hard. Where the heck are they? It's so stealthy, I can't even find the guns. Unless it's literally going to be like the Sabre, and when we take off, this bottom bay is going to open up. Probably not even when we take off, just when we power it on, and they're in there also? I wouldn't think they'd be in there. That's where, obviously, the missiles and the tor missiles are. Are these missiles or torpedoes? Eh, doesn't matter. Oh, we got someone here hanging out, looking at our ship. You can go run it yourself, dude. You just gotta go get it. But yeah, not a whole lot to do outside on this one. It's a flying triangle of stealthness. So let's go ahead and we'll enter the pilot seat. Make sure we turn the headlamp off before we get in. Uh, ooh, I like that blue effect. That's nice. I do like that. Can I get that on my Vanguard? Can I change out that green to that blue? I like that. I guess it is more stealthy. A lot of controls up top. That's pretty cool. Okay, our standard stuff's over there. There's our engine on. We got an eject seat. Flight ready. We'll just do power on for now. Let the hood come up. Oh, now it's green. Oh, you ruined it. You ruined it. It was so good as that blue. You'd almost expect it to be red. That's not the color, that's the alien colors. Okay, so we got a lot of panels here. Feels like there should be something here in the center. Maybe that'll be our target. Okay. Okay, if we hit F4 and spin around here now. So did the bottom open up? It did. Oh, there's the guns. Yep, they deployed out from under the wings. So they were, they were underneath. You also... Where are the missiles? Looks like maybe it just hasn't opened up all the way. Uh-oh, we got a new pilot behind us. Don't fly into me, dude. Don't you dare fly into me. Okay. I'm, I'm impressed by those little wing deploys. And they are size 2. Now they're miniguns, so eh, we're not going to be doing too much with them. Uh, let's go ahead and let's jump back in. What we can probably do real quick is we can go make a 1,000 credits. There should be an ECN. Nope, there's no ECN up. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Uh, mercenary, tactical raid, local security threats, uh... Uh, an ECN would have been nice, because then we would have been able to hit a Connie with the, uh, the big missiles. Let's see, cargo, cargo, finishing, Kovalax, uh... Delivery request, delivery request, investigations, come on! So disappointing. Alright, we will, we will figure something out. Uh, let's go ahead and let's bring the engines online. Engine. Lift up. And away we go. Up. 
There's a cutlass we could blow him up. Could at least launch him. Let's see what we got in terms of speed. So, 195. Not very fast. Not too fast. That's, uh, hey, it's not terrible. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll release and we'll punch this. Is that it? 200? No way. They're, okay. What? Woo! <laughs> Why? Why did it only go up to... I don't know. For some reason, it only went up to 200 there. There was like, no way. Let's see what we top out at. Z unlock. While that's going on, we'll go ahead and pop out here. Hang on. I did lower my landing gear. Why are the wings still like that? Oh, it's buggy. There's our problem. It's buggy. Okay, now the wings are down. All right, keep accelerating now. <laughs> All right. So can we see? Can't really see anything. Let's hit number five. Turn our lights on. It actually doesn't make sense that this thing has f lights. Get back in here. Uh, Uh-oh. I shut it down. I wanted to hit number five. <laughs> Wait, why? Is oh. Uh, so a little bit of a teaser here. I've picked up some of those voice packs. And the voice packs have different... They have to use the advanced keyboard and mouse. Uh, if you just use the traditional keyboard and mouse, it doesn't actually work. Uh, at least for right now. So I'm relearning my keybinds. And apparently number five powers down the ship, so yeah, that's good. Let's come in here, controls, uh, keybinds, advanced keybinds, what do we got? We want flights, lights, three, three is headlights, okay. Turn to game, okay, number three, there we go, now if we go outside, whoa, that's actually the sun. <laughs> Uh, but we can see the, the torpedoes inside there now. <laughs> this is all around some pro some professional YouTubing right here. <laughs> oh boy. Three? Nope. Can't really tell. I, I don't think the lights turn on when you're in third person mode. You gotta turn them on and then go into third person mode. But I can't tell if they're turning on or not. Can't tell. Maybe because there's nothing to reflect off of. All right, let's go back. Uh, check our contracts. Has there been a new one? Come on, no! Darn it. Let's uh, black box recovery, recover ship, mercenary, tactical raid, uh, thief located. Do I have to pick up anything? Uh, handle the retrieval of a stolen box which the investigative team has learned on board a ship. Nah, no, we don't want to... Well, maybe it's a Connie. Accept. Did we accept it? There we go. All right. F2. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Not here. Not here. Please don't be at Hurston. Where is it? Am I blind? Uh, showing out there. Neutral eyes. Okay. Do we just crown him right to him? Nope. Can't do that. Okay. F2. Clear route. There it is. Now it's showing up. How to close it first. It is Damar. Good. And then Kovalex. Set route. Here we go. Hopefully it's, as long as it's a Connie and I can blow up the Connie, that's all I want. Try out these missiles. Torpedoes. I think they're considered torpedoes. It's amazing how bright your headlights are when you're flying right into the sun and they look like your headlights. Or I guess directly away from the sun. <laughs> oh boy. I thought you can tell I do a lot of this stuff in one take. Dude, editing multiple takes is just way too much effort. And also, it's a weird mental state, like in order to... Um, come on. 
it, it's just hard to stop a thought process and pick it back up. And then even if you do the editing, it might not be that hard, but just stopping that thought process and then picking it back up without repeating yourself too much, I find that very difficult. I already repeat myself a ton. Come on, Connie. Or a Starfarer, that'd be good too. Starfarer would be great, even if we can't pick up the item. Neutralize, no target yet, no target yet, come on. There it is, okay. An Avenger Stalker. Lock missiles. We're gonna fire two of them, I think. Are they locked? I do. That's weird. I'm getting 80 FPS. It's crazy how those missile things are real slow. There we go. Come on. Fire. Uh. <laughs> um, so part of what happened there was I got too close. The other part of what happened there is right now with the current update, the AIs are broken. They'll shoot at you. They can, like, if you get right in front of their guns, they will shoot at you and they'll try to turn towards you, but they don't actually maneuver. They just sit in one place. So we got too close and then shot the missile into it. Now there's a box here that we can't do anything about. <laughs> well, it dies to one missile. Do we still have, um, do we still have two left? Can't tell. Where's the sun? Hang on, where's the sun? All right, the sun is there. So we'll place our belly towards the sun. Z, F, or, uh, yeah, we fired one. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's see what else we can get into trouble with. Come on. Uh, don't don't crash on me now, baby. All right. Uh, mercenary. Uh, breaking a Korea. Tactical raid. Uh, local security threat. Uh, combat pilots. Track down and destroy. Monitors. New. Uh... Yeah, maybe we can do that one. Maybe that'll spawn something up. Oh, go back in here. Um, contacts, contracts accepted. Local, local security threat track. Star map. Okay, com relay set route. Good. She's got a good sound to her. Um, unlike a lot of the other ships where it's a little, I don't know, I, I don't want to say it's bad, it's just, this one sounds like a Formula One car compared to a lot of the other ones sounding like a drag racer. So, it just has a, a cleanness to the engines. Ugh, I'm having fun with this one. I, I, the ship's a little too one-trick pony for me. Three torpedoes, you know, I, I guess that is two-thirds of what the, uh, the, almost more of what the, the it's three-quarters of what the Retaliator can do. So maybe that's not that bad. You know, you figure the Retaliator only has four. I think these are smaller. The Retaliator are size seven or eight. These are like five or sixes. Uh, so they're, they're definitely smaller, but... Come on in here. Should be something we can shoot at here, right? If we shoot one of these, one of these things, it should spawn pirates to defend it. Come on, spool up. There we go. Sensors are a little wonky. Didn't didn't trigger. Didn't trigger. There's one. Cut speed. It stops pretty quick. Can't target it. Those guns feel wrong. For this type of ship, they should be like, not lasers, but they should be burst cannons of some sort. Right? You, rather than mini guns. 
Uh, it's the wrong weapon for this type of ship, I feel. You want something harder hitting, but that you get less of. You use the ship's stealth ability in order to come in behind the target and then unload on them with it and then fly away after you drop your torpedoes maybe or before you drop your torpedoes. Boy. <laughs> These guns are... Uh... There we go. We're firing again. We're gonna have to use a freaking torpedo to destroy this thing. Come on, get through the shields. Yeah, these are, these leave a lot to be desired. I wouldn't expect great guns, but these are the wrong guns for it. Now, that's always something you can trade out, and they are, are they gimbaled? No, they are not gimbaled. At least I don't think they're gimbaled. Are my gimbals locked? I might have, nope, my gimbals were not locked. So they're not gimbaled, so you can't go, it's not like you go up to size threes. Hang on, what's that over there? What's that? Can we shoot that thing? What's this thing? What the hell was that? I didn't... What? I don't know what's happening. Target that. Target that thingy there. Come on. There we go. What is this? Drake Cutlass Black. Okay, that's a better target. Let's get in a little close. Come to about 2,000 meters, give or take. He'd probably hurt us pretty hard if we let him hit us. Ooh, these things are rough. Oh, he must have somebody in the turret? Maybe? Uh, you can see him. He's trying to turn to, to keep me engaged. That's about all he can do. Yep, somebody's in the turret. I'm also getting shot at from behind. Alright, lock one. Lock two. That's all. Oh, that's the pirate skin. Come on, missiles. Uh. Well, apparently I shot a missile. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wasn't pressing or holding metal mouse at all for all that. Let's take a look here. How many missiles do we have left? Uh, can we see down here? Missiles, we're gone. We've used them all. One of them fired off back before. I didn't mean to. Well, there we go. There's the uh, there's the eclipse. Um, yeah, I think all three of those combined together in one salvo into something like a hammerhead would probably be pretty impressive. Uh, but yeah, those guns are definitely the wrong guns. You need to change those out, and. I don't know. It's going to be a fun ship to have. Definitely not one I would put money into to buy. So there you guys go. That's my thoughts and impressions on the Eclipse. Until next time, this has been Power. Thanks for watching.